Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so happy you stopped by. Well, Jenny over at Jenny Scratch Made Kitchen every year puts on amazing Croctober and it's uh, Halloween today, so I am the last channel making a video. Everyone else throughout the month has been making some amazing recipes and I'll have everybody listed below in a playlist. Today, I'm gonna be making a Cajun inspired sausage and chicken um, jambalaya. It's super easy to throw together. You don't need any special stuff. It takes 10 minutes to assemble, and it is so good. Now, on November 2nd, Jenny is going to be giving away a bunch of great prizes. So all you have to do to win is go to everyone else's videos, leave a nice comment after you watched it, and you'll be entered. Um, she's gonna have her live giveaway on November 2nd at 4 p.m. Mountain Time, and you have to be present to win. So let's get started. You're gonna need some bell peppers, a half a cup of each of red, green, and orange. But if you wanna just use two colors, that's totally fine. One small diced onion, a half a cup of chopped carrots, 10 ounces of smoked sausage that I sliced, one and one quarter pounds of chicken. I like the thighs, but you could use breast and just cut those into chunks. One 28 ounce can of fire roasted tomatoes. Now I drained most of the juice and just um, crushed up the tomatoes, but you can already get them diced too. Three cloves of garlic a teaspoon of thyme and a teaspoon of Creole or Cajun seasoning. Now don't add too much of the Cajun seasoning because it's salty and there's plenty of salt in there already. Now if you can find this, it's called sofrito, it's in the Mexican aisle and it's a base of onions, peppers, garlic and it just gives a really extra punch of flavor. I use two tablespoons and then a half a cup of low sodium chicken broth. So see, all I'm doing is just dumping everything in. And then I'm just gonna give it a nice stir. And then, oops, behind the crock pot, I forgot the final ingredient. One small can of tomato sauce. Okay, and then just turn your lid on. I'm mean, put your lid on, turn it on high for four hours, and it is going to turn into this magical stew just like this. The chicken is super tender. The broth is really flavorful. If you like it spicier, you can add jalapenos or hot sauce. Now just serve it over some hot cooked rice, or if you want to keep it low carb, you could use cauliflower rice. I hope you guys are going to give this a try. It was really good.